Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a box opening video, as you can see here. Um, I am apologize for all of the dogs chewing on bones. Um, they're all in here chewing on bones because I was excited, so they grab bones and chew on bones. So, actually it's just Toby chewing now, so hopefully it won't be so bad. But anyways, I am so excited for this, you guys. So, so excited. Um, this is, I know, I feel like I say it a lot, like I, all Twiggling dolls are my grails, every single one of them. Uh, but this was a doll that I really didn't think I would be able to get. Um, uh, it, this is, uh, as you can see from the tape on here, I don't know if you can see that, um, LLT, uh, and I think it's La Legend de Temps. I, I might have slaughtered that. I'm pretty sure uh, it's a it's a Chinese sculptor, um, uh, and my I, I'm pretty sure it's just a single artist, uh, not really a company. Um, and so it's been a long, long time since a release. I want to say two years. Um, I just got done watching uh, just a few days ago. I was watching. Um, uh, uh, Sea Hedgehog, I, I couldn't remember. Um, uh, sea Hedgehog, uh, she had her AHA's uh, box opening and um, I was like, well, I, I ordered mine too, you know, where is it? And um, she said that she got, uh, sorry for the box opening noises. She said that she got a um, email from somebody named like Marco or something but, so I went and searched my emails with the term, with, I think it was Marco, and there, there it popped up. <laughs> uh, my, my doll had actually been shipped, I think, on the 18th, and <laughs> I totally missed the email because it went to, it went to my uh, PayPal email, which is, the email, that email is like 20 years old, um, it gets so much junk and spam uh, that... I, I just miss things on that. Um, so my doll had been shipped like two weeks ago and I didn't even know it, which probably saved me a lot of, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Maybe it'll come up here. Uh, hopefully that will save, that saved me a lot of um, anxiety uh, because the package sat in China, sorry guys, sat in China for, uh, two weeks and just didn't move, um, which would have really stressed me out. Uh, I would have thought that something happened. Um, so it's only been a few days, really. And I tried to cover my address. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job of it. Try not to cut the box underneath. So. But anyways, I saw that and uh, got me very excited. Uh, I had no idea how long it was going to take for this doll to be made. The pre-order was in, um, I want to make sure that's not sitting there. Yeah, just, these are some eyes from Soul in, the, Soul in the Box that came today too. And maybe we'll be able to use them for this guy. Uh, the the pre-order I think was it was in July. Um, I think the pre-order was open for a long time. Uh, and it was a very bad timing. I had basically just lost my job or one of my jobs. Um, I never just have one job, I have multiple. So uh, it was kind of not good timing. And I agonized over it, but I just wasn't gonna let this pass. Uh, I had been wanting it for two years. Um, just totally in love with the sculpting. So here's the box. I'm going to lift it down. I'm so excited. Sorry if I didn't finish my thoughts. <laughs> uh, apparently opening a box and finishing my thoughts don't go very good together right now. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, been up taking care of a sick little bulldog. Um, she's doing a lot better though, uh, which is taking a lot of the anxiety off of me. The box looks like it's gotten a little bit munched. It's a little squished in some places. Um, 
which is happens I guess uh, but hopefully everything is okay inside oh so excited um, and I uh, finished my thought I don't I can't remember <laughs> let's open this <clears throat> One of these days, maybe I should try doing a voiceover. <laughs> See, but uh, so there they are. Ludwig and Ahaz are Ahaz. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, A H A S Z <laughs> and L Ludwig. Um, so, oh, I'm so excited. Um, number. This is cool. This looks like. Almost like they painted it. Ahaz and Ludwig, uh, um, October 16th, 2018. That was, I think, the shipping date. Um, and I think that says number 801. Um, oh, it's funny, it's got a lot of, like a male, female, and it's circled. Uh, and it's got the artist, oh, sorry, you guys see. It's got the artist's signature. I think that says 801, number 801. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, can you see? Ooh. I love when dolls are shipped in foam to protect them. Um, let's see, I can probably just lift this. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the beautifulness. Oh, he didn't come with his leaf on. Where's his leaf? <laughs> I hope it's in here. Oh, here's the leaf. It was stuck in here. <laughs> There's the leaf. I guess you stick it uh, stick it on with a little bit of uh, um, sticky tack, maybe. I love the leaf. Like, that was like just like one of those things. It's just a little resin maybe this is an oak leaf beautiful okay so here we go so i ordered full the full doll oh he has body blushing wow i went and looked i couldn't remember if i had ordered like face up and stuff um because I try to, if I, they don't have a, he doesn't have a face up, but he has body blushing. Did I order that? I don't remember. Um, oh my goodness. So there's this bag. Oh, oh my goodness, he's lovely. Oh, okay, let me put this foam in the box. I'll try to... Keep it away from doggies. Oh my gosh. He's so gorgeous and he's so big. I forget how tall he is. Um, I, I know he's over 70 centimeters, which is really important to me. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm getting like 74, something like that. Um, oops. Lola returned, chewing on her bone. You can see her there. Here, can we see stuff? Um, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. He's gorgeous. He's so heavy. Oh, my word. <laughs> this guy is solid. Oh, so beautiful. Oh. And there was, I think I saw recently a normal skin Aha's head on the secondhand market. And... I almost went for that because I didn't think I would ever get the chance to buy 
him in tan because it was kind of like he wasn't maybe going to be released again. Um, oh, wow. Gorgeous sculpting. Gorgeous resin. Uh, this is... So, sorry guys, you couldn't even see, could you? Uh, gorgeous resin. It is um, this beautiful tan. This is... Uh, it's, it, it, it's considered light tan, is what it said on the website. Um, there's his knee. So the body blushing is really subtle. It's not, it's definitely not uh, extreme. Boy, he is a heavy guy. Um, let's see. No problem standing. Oh my word, he is, gosh. My uh, Titan is, um, 78 centimeters and my long sole boys are 75 um so he's the about the height of those long sole boys but he's just way more buff and heavy <laughs> he is solid wow gorgeous guy um and then here is the other head um this is ludwig and uh, again, I just really wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. These are both beautiful dolls. Um, I I really had no idea uh, what I would do, uh, who I would put him on uh, body-wise, but Toby, get out of there. Come on, come on, Toby, come on. Come here, come here. <laughs> He's like, no, I wanna check out this bag. Um, so, but he is so beautiful. Uh, but, so, Sea Hedgehog again, um, they were, I forget what the video was, but at the end, they uh, pulled out this hybrid that they had made. They put their Ahas head on the Dalshi Khan body, which I forget, I forget the designation. I call it the Khan body, but it's like 24M or something, but it's like, I have it on I have it on order um, and it's supposed to be it was supposed to be shipping out in October <laughs> I've been waiting since December for it um, but uh, someday that'll come home but anyways it was a gorgeous hybrid it looked fantastic and I ordered uh, that con body um, in the mango oriental um, let me see uh, Try to find something that's not so big and heavy because I want to do a resin comparison. Um, the Honey Resin Mango Oriental. I'm going to make this guy sit down because uh, I don't want to walk around with him standing here. And we'll play with him a little more too. I'm so glad that they came. he came today. Uh, so what happened this morning actually, I'm going to keep talking and hopefully you can hear me is that um, the, uh, the tracking updated to say uh, that um, he was in, he was at the, my post office and uh, said that he was at the post office, but that he wasn't going to be delivered until tomorrow. Um, and then if that, I, I wouldn't be able to pick him up Today's Tuesday, um, so if that was going to be the case, I'd be at work and I wouldn't be able to pick him up until um, like Saturday. So I was really sad. I went down to the post office and tried to get him and they were like, no, he's not here. Um, so this might, this might not be too bad um, with, uh, with blushing and stuff, uh, the Mango Oriental con body that I have coming in might be a good uh, hybrid for this guy. Um, I knew it would take a long, long time to get that body in, uh, and I really didn't have any idea at the time who I would put on it. I, I just knew that I love that body and I would find somebody to go on it. <laughs> 
uh, and I wanted to take advantage of opportunity to um, to get him. So uh, yeah, someday that guy will come home, and I'll try out that hybrid. Um, whoops! I just fell over the head. <laughs> uh, let me put this back together. Actually, I'll pause this for a second, and uh, I'll change the camera. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I just stole uh, um, the wig that Sir Munoz, my Granado Titan, was wearing, and um, horns and all. <laughs> Doesn't it look awesome on him? Oh my god. Uh, it's a little, it's a little small, uh, the wig. The wig's a little small for CERN, too. Um, I need to get one that fits them a little better. This is Angora, and it's made by, oh my gosh, I, I totally forgot her name. Um, I've been buying a lot of Angora wigs from her off of Etsy. Uh, sorry. Um... Unprepared. I do want to make a video <clears throat> to go over wigs um, and talk about different wigs and wig makers uh, and share those with you guys. Um, um, Erlif Myth. <laughs> Uh, so I'll try to remember to maybe put some links. She's on Etsy and makes gorgeous wigs. But so I tried this one on him. Uh, I love I love ginger wigs. Um, as far as natural wigs go, I love ginger, carrot red. Um, but I'm gonna take this off because it's not gonna stay on very good since it's too small uh, and. He is so big. Um, can you guys see? I kind of wanted to play around with his joints here. Yeah, I totally don't remember. Uh, I totally don't remember ordering body blushing. And I don't know, maybe that comes standard. Let's see what he can do. We can't quite bring it up all the way. Um, let's check out this joint. In fact, you can really slouch very nicely. He's really big. Like I, I would kind of like to try out this head on a tight on my Titan body. Um, I kind of just quickly put it up to him and. Like, let's see here. Got a peanut here, joint here. Um, so, I moved Lola into the other room, <laughs> but the door is still open, so she's over there chewing on her bone. Um, he's beautiful, very gorgeous. I uh, love the resin. Beautiful, beautiful guy. Uh, he's he's big. <laughs> uh, I'll try on some of the pants that I have made for my other big guys and see if he can fit into anything. Um, oh, did that scratch the blushing? I was afraid of that. That's the problem with blushing, is that it immediately gets scratched. Um, it's my doll though, so I'm not super worried about that. Gorgeous feet. How big are these feet? Um, yeah, they're standard ginormous 10 centimeter feet. so really good really hard to find these guys shoes uh, he's so beautiful so beautiful 
Um, I love the manicure that they gave him on his hands. And they did blush the feet too, but they didn't give it like, they didn't give him like a petty <laughs> that he has like, you can see the cuticles. So gorgeous. He is so heavy. Um, my Titan weighs 12 pounds. Um, I know he doesn't weigh that, but he's probably pretty close. Um, oh, he's so gorgeous. I hope you guys have been, I've been so focused on him. Uh, I apologize if uh, you guys couldn't see things very well. This little oak leaf, that is fantastic. <laughs> Uh, let's open these eyes. Um, I think, I think I just ordered some in-stock eyes that, because I don't think I actually did an order. Um, she recently started making <clears throat> small iris eyes, um, uh, 12 millimeter and up and oh my gosh these are so beautiful I think these are 12 12 millimeter eyes oh wow let's see if you can see them beautiful yeah there's no I'd have to check actually I have Etsy open right here so let's check it out yeah in stock 12 millimeter small iris both of them. One is Valhalla and one is Liberté. And I do, I've, I have a couple pair of Liberté, I think. I get them mixed up. They're very similar. Um, but they're that, because I have eyes like this that, that are blue with gold flecks or around the uh, pupil. Um, and there's a name for it, which I always forget, uh, but it's, it's what my eyes look like. And it is, it is a fairly common, it's not like it's especially rare or something, but I like it. You see that? Oh, they're so pretty. So I don't know. I'll try them out. Um, so Aw has, he has these partially closed eyes, um, which I love. Uh, I love sculpts with partially closed eyes. So my, um, like my my chibis here, my chibi moons, um, my uh, all my mini um, minonjanus with uh, they have the two face plates, um, Pieta. Um, yeah. So I really really like half lidded eyes. I have two Pietas now. <laughs> and I ordered a mini Pieta. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I am so excited. I, I hope that those dolls won't take a million years. I mean, ugh, like they, yeah, we'll see. I ordered her in teal. Um, and she was, uh, she had a few, she had like 25 spots that she offered at L doll. And, um, I don't think I realized that it was limited like that. So, uh, but as soon as Eldol was over, she put them up on the site and I think they're still available. So, uh, but I rushed there in a panic and um, put one on layaway. <laughs> so mini Pieta and Teal, I'm super excited. Um, let's see here. So he's got a, uh, a C, I guess I would call this a C hook instead of an S hook. There we go. Mm. Doesn't have a plaque. I always am a little bit disappointed when they don't have an actual plaque. Um, Because it looks nice, one, um, and because of the recast thing, really. Uh, it's just another level of protection that your doll is legit. Oh, he's so gorgeous. 
so freaking gorgeous. I'm, I'm just, I could just stare at him. I'm so happy. Oh. The only thing that would have been more awesome was if they would have offered face-ups because um, I don't want to send him off. Okay. Um, and then I got to try to dig up some putty here because I have been out of putty for months. I've been out of eye putty for months. Um, that's terrible. Okay, here, let me... scavenge some <laughs> disgusting putty from over here uh yeah it's getting it's getting to be desperate around here guys send send high putty <laughs> look how freaking huge that neck hole is i um yeah i kind of want to try him out on some other bodies just to see i have i have the um ideal yin uh Sume Idyllion 75 centimeter body, which is pretty impressive. Um, and this guy, I think, is bulkier than him. So everybody's gonna watch me. <laughs> oh my lord. This is the worst video ever. I'm sorry. And I hate editing. I have to do it all on my phone now because I'm not able to I'm not able to get them to go on to my computer. Editing is much easier on my computer, like just takes it's so fast. Um, so I don't like doing computer work, but the, it is so much faster than trying to do it on my phone that I prefer to do that. Um, so I think that you could probably pretty easily put some 14 millimeter eyes in these eye wells, um, but I really like the size of these, these 12 millimeter small iris do pretty good. And I think uh, another that would go pretty good would be, um, what are those Cubeco molds? Um, people who use those molds, the uh, 16 or 14 small iris, because those irises are pretty small, I bet you they would look good on him too. I'm super struggling with this putty. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop it for a second. Okay. Uh, I still need to fiddle with that a little bit, but um, those are pretty nice, I think. I'm pretty sure these are the... Yeah, so um, I really like those. Those actually fit pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Uh, let's see, I think... What I, I want to try some things on him, so I don't have extra clothes, so I'm going to have to take some clothes off of somebody. Um, so, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my Sume Idealian 75 centimeter body uh, that I have my um, fifth motif Vinitu head on. And I, I think that he, like, especially like I'm looking at the thighs and the bulk of the waist, I think he's smaller. Um, but I remember I made these pants for him and I actually had to um, put in a cheat <laughs> uh, for the thighs. Uh, so we'll see. Um, so, okay, it's going to be a lot. Okay, all kinds of doll nudity going on here. Um, let's, uh, I don't know, let's see here. They might actually be a lot 
more. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little thicker in the waist, has a bit bigger butt, uh, this guy does, the LLT all has, um, assume Idealian, uh, let's see, might fit those pants then. We'll see. I'll try it out. So these are the pants that I made for the Sue Mydelian. Uh, and I used the pattern um, that I've been using for my other big guys, adjusting it as I went. And um, still, despite thinking I was on the right track and that it was going to fit. It didn't. And I had to put this, <laughs> this in the crotch, uh, which does, I think it looks kind of cool. I should just tell people I did that on purpose to look cool. Um, but, uh, the thighs were too wide. Uh, they were, they, those thighs were too thick. Um, and this guy looks like he is even thicker. Thicker in the thighs and thicker in the butt and waist area. So we'll see if he fits these. Okay. over that butt. <laughs> oh, I felt something. <laughs> I felt something pop. I don't know what it was, <laughs> but all right. So nice. They fit him. Let's see. Let's try the, the sitting test. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so that doesn't work. He totally burst out of these. So uh, I'll have to make a lot of modifications for that. He can stand up and wear them. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. But when he sits down... Uh, If this was stretchier, then it might work, but it doesn't have enough stretch for that. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely he's gonna have to have it tailored to him. <laughs> um, and that's usually what I do. Whatever doll I'm making something for, I I tailor it to them, and I do sometimes will try it, What as I'm making it, I'll try it on some other, um, some other dolls and, uh, see if, um, you know, that it's going to fit a few of them, but, uh, 
these bigger guys, they have a lot of variability. Uh, and it's, I think I've got a pattern that's going to fit everybody. <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to use really, really stretchy, um, stuff. So, uh, what else could we try? Let me pause this and see if I can find something. Okay, guys, um, I am going to wrap up this video. I might put in some more pictures of hybrids or something. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I'm getting tired and hungry, so uh, I'll wrap this up, and uh, hopefully maybe it can get posted tonight. <laughs> I usually upload when I'm sleeping because um, I have to use my phone, and it takes a long time. So... Uh, I'm going to get some food and then I uh, hopefully will have some time to start working on some pants for this guy um, and some clothes. I'm so excited. I love him so much. He is... <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'm in love. I uh, love him so much. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Okay. Uh, I did want to show this um comparison between uh this is probably my three biggest dolls um this is Cernunos he is my Granado Titan uh Arwen and he is so big <laughs> um as soon as I got as soon as I picked him up uh and brought him over here I knew um because in my mind I was kind of thinking that maybe he was similar size but oh my gosh <laughs> he's so heavy and hard to pick up um but uh yeah you can see how much bigger he is uh even with them just sitting there um these two are probably a little more similar um in height uh, uh he's probably my long soul um Thunderbowl is probably lighter though, because uh, he's thinner and leaner, minus those giant hooves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, kind of a neat uh, comparison that I wanted to show.